In the last four months, I've made over £10,000, which is around about $13,000 in total passive income by selling simple digital downloads online. These are really simple PDFs that took me seconds to make. It's one of the easiest passive income streams that I've ever discovered. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I'm doing it. This video is going to be full of valuable tips and tricks that I guarantee that no one else is sharing. So if you find this valuable, please make sure you like the video and subscribe. But let's not waste any more time and dive into it. First up, the business model is really simple. So we're just selling digital downloads on the website Etsy. So if you don't know, Etsy is a massive marketplace. It's similar to Amazon in a way, but it mainly focuses on handmade products, usually from small businesses. But in recent years, Etsy has become the go-to place to buy and sell digital products. And these digital products can be anything really from PDF digital planners, worksheets, patterns, and digital prints. There's so many possibilities. So if someone could download a product as a PNG or a PDF, then it can be sold on Etsy. And I've seen a few people do videos about this recently, and they always tell people to go after the most saturated products like weekly planners. But honestly, if you want to be successful with this, you need to focus on unsaturated products that you can create lots of and fast. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do now. Plus, I'm going to show you how I'm creating these products super easily using pre-existing templates, and it literally takes me seconds to create them. And I've got loads more advanced tips and tricks so you can start creating and selling these digital products yourself and making passive income. But before I show you how to do this, if you want extra insider information and different ways to make money that I don't always share on YouTube, make sure you sign up to my new free newsletter and the link will be in the description down below. But now let's head over to Etsy so I can show you how I find these unsaturated products. So Etsy is actually a really good website to do market research to see where the opportunities are. I actually do have a few tools that's going to help us out, but Etsy is a good starting place for us to come. So most people probably come over to Etsy and they type in like digital planner because that's one of the main selling digital products on Etsy. And I just want to show you kind of the opportunity here, the competition and kind of how we would find gaps where we could actually create and find products which will sell well. And if we just click on one of these examples like this one here, you can see how well this is selling. So I actually have an extension called Alora, which I will leave a link to in the description down below. You don't need this, it's a paid extension, but it just helps you see how well things are selling. And as you can see, this simple digital planner has actually generated over $116,000. So the potential here is off the scale for a passive income generating business. But as I said, planners like this are way oversaturated. If you look here, the results, it's got over 450,000 results for digital planner. So they sell very well, but this is definitely too oversaturated. If you used to create a digital planner now, it's a very slim chance that you're gonna be able to show up. So what I would do, if you found a product that you you think is selling well, but you kind of want to jump on that, but you don't want to compete with all of these people, kind of need to narrow it down a little bit. So for example, if you still wanted to get into the planner niche, and I actually think this is still too oversaturated, and there's lots of different products, which I'll show you how to find in, in a moment. But if we did want to do it with, with digital planners, what we need to do is get these search results down. So there's less competition. So for example, you can see here, ADHD seems to be a specific type of planner, which is selling well. So if I was to type in ADHD digital planner in front of this, you can see that the results have gone down to 11,000. So just by creating an ADHD digital planner, you're cutting out 400,000 of competition. So that is the way that you would do it. I still think that's oversaturated. So you could narrow it down even more. Maybe kids ADHD digital planner might be an option. There's only 769 results for that. So that's how you do it manually. And that's a really good way of finding these opportunities of where there's less competition, but it doesn't give you the full picture. So I like to use another Chrome extension called Sales Samurai, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. It's actually quite cheap this. And I think you can get 20% off with a link that I'll share down below. It's like $8 a month. It's super, super cheap. It's this one up here and it's installed at the moment and it works with Etsy. So if I was to type in digital planner, these little numbers that are popping up here in blue and this here, this is this extension. And it shows me the search volume for that keyword. So we can see digital planners getting 26,000 searches every single month. But if we click on this here, view more, it actually brings up this and it shows us the search volume versus the competition plus lots of other associated keywords. So we can start to narrow this down because I don't know what niche to go for or what type of digital planner if that's the product that I wanted to go for. So I could come here and just play around with this and say search volume. So I want to have at least 200 search volume and I want to have less than 3000 competition. Then I'm going to click filter on that and it's brought up all of these opportunities. And there's a lot of just misspellings of digital planner down here, but there's an opportunity there called teaching digital planner, which gets 465 searches. So it's getting a bit of traffic and there's a lot less competition compared to the other ones. So that might be an opportunity. And if we just click on this, 
it will bring it up and you can see what other people are doing and there is already a few people selling these but that could be an opportunity now the planning niche isn't probably the best one because if you look at these, even in this less saturated one, these listings are amazing. People are really focusing on this planning niche because that's what everyone tells everyone to get into, create planners, create planners. And it's oversaturated and these listings are so optimized, it would be really hard to even compete with these, even with less competition. But my favorite strategy to find products that are unsaturated and untapped that not a lot of people are already doing is to actually look on what's selling well on Amazon. So a lot of people are selling low content books on Amazon using a business model called Amazon KDP. I've done it before. I'm actually making money from that at this moment in time. And I've been using that as inspiration, seeing what's selling well as these physical books on Amazon and then turning them into digital products on Etsy. And this is a genius strategy that works really well. So I actually use another tool, which is really, really cheap as well. It's called BookBolt. And it's actually an Amazon KDP tool, which helps you find good products to, to sell on Amazon KDP. But I've been using it to help me find what's selling well on Amazon KDP. So then transfer it over to Etsy. So I will leave a link to this in the description down below. It's like $8 a month as well. It's super, super cheap, but it's the cheapest tool that I could find that could help me find what's selling well on Amazon KDP. So if you come over to BookBolt and then just click on the clouds tab, you can actually see all the low or no content books that are selling well on Amazon. And you can search this. So it's got all the different categories like journals, music sheets, calendars, planners, coloring books, guest books, log books, trackers. These are all perfect types of products that you can sell as digital products on Etsy. So for example, if we click on tracker, click on search, it will show us the top 100 selling products at the moment. So this is a really good one, ultimate savings challenge. So it's like a savings logbook in the form of a challenge and that's getting like 500 sales every month. And there's another savings one here. There's actually quite a lot of savings one popping up because we're in a cost of living crisis, but there's like password trackers, symptom and food diary for like a chronic illness. That might be a good one. So then you come over to Etsy and then type in chronic illness and then see what he's going to suggest down here. So chronic illness tracker, chronic illness print, chronic illness journal. So then we can click on that here and see what opportunities there might be in that niche that we could create a digital product for. And I'll show you how we're gonna create these digital products really, really easily in just a second. So if we scroll down here, you can see Illness Tracker is getting 400 searches and it's got about 2000 competition, but we can go and have a look at this and see whether there's an opportunity for us to kind of get in here. So like this one here is not a great design. So we might be able to make that look a bit more modern, a little bit more appealing. And this is not actually a digital product. These look very, very boring, like chronic illness, it look like some sort of medical forms. People might want something a bit more fun, bit more appealing. It looks a lot nicer. So this might be a really good opportunity for us to create something similar to this that's not got super loads of competition and it looks really boring. So we could make something a bit more colorful, a bit more appealing to a female audience. And we could actually list this on Etsy and make money. And that's how we're going to do it. So a really good tip is to actually go back over to like something like digital planners, which is really oversaturated. There's loads of people optimizing their listings and see what's working well. So as you can see, this is like these beige minimalistic colors with lots of information about what's inside. A video would work well as well. And this is how we can make our listings stand out in a less saturated niche like this chronic illness medical planner. So once you've got an idea of niche and a product that could sell well and it's, it's not oversaturated and there's an opportunity for you to improve that product and make it stand out a bit more. Now we need to actually start creating these and it's very, very simple to create these because we can use pre-existing templates and just tweak them up a little bit. So to do that, I'm going to use Canva, which I'm sure most of you have heard of. It's a design tool, but they've got loads of pre-existing templates in here that we can kind of edit and tweak a little bit. So you can come over here and let's say, for instance, you're going to do some kind of symptom tracker. You can first of all, just search here and see whether someone's already done them inside of Canva. So let's just type symptom tracker. So as you can see, no one's actually created a symptom tracker inside of Canva, but there's lots of similar trackers that we potentially could use as a base. So for example, this one here, it's an income tracker. So we click on customize this template. Someone else has created this. And even if someone has created what you want, you do not want to use that as it is. We're just using that as a base so we can kind of use the format of it. We're going to change it up a little bit so it's unique and it's your own piece of work. So a really good tip is you can just come here to designs click on styles and then you can instantly just change the color of it and the fonts inside like that. If you wanted to make it a bit more appealing to like a younger female audience for like a chronic illness. So something like that will do. And then we can just change this here. So we might want to change it to chronic illness tracker. And then I'm just going to get rid of that. And then you'd obviously just change these sections here. So it might be like symptoms, pain level, 
notes. Something along those lines, but obviously what I would do is go back here, see what other people are actually including and what's important to the audience. A really good tip as well is read any reviews, look at any bad reviews of people that have left a bad review and say, oh, it didn't have a column for this. And then you can add that into your digital product to make sure that yours has got that. And then you can come here and then we can just duplicate this. And you obviously want to make a pack of them that you can download as a PDF that you can provide to them. And then someone will just buy this and download it and they can just fill it in with pen or they can add it onto their iPad and then they can fill it in with their iPad as well, just using like a note app. So then what you can do is click share and then click on download as a PDF. And now we've got our very own, very simple chronic illness tracker. So once you've got your product, it's time to actually sell this on Etsy. Now it's not just a case of creating an Etsy store and uploading it and you're gonna get loads of sales. I've got a few more tips and tricks to make sure that you can be seen on Etsy so people are finding you because if you've got a brand new account, it's difficult. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. But first of all, you need to come over to Etsy and just create a free account. They do charge you 20 cents per listing, but a little tip, if you come over to Etsy and type in 40 free listings, you'll see loads of these listings here you don't have to buy anything but if you click on one of them it will have someone's referral link down here they're just giving away their referral link and if you actually sign up with one of these referral links they get 40 free listings and you get 40 free listings so once you've created your store now you need to create a listing to sell your product so if you just come to the listings tab inside your etsy dashboard it's pretty self-explanatory but i've got a few tips to help you rank so obviously first of all you need to add your photos so this isn't the digital file this will just be photos screenshots of the digital file that you're selling and like I said before you can go over to things that are already selling well take inspiration so maybe create something in Canva that's got a good title at the top shows you what's included maybe a little hand um, little information about what's it inside. It works really, really well with these planners and these these digital products to show people kind of how to use them straight away just from the thumbnail. And it just looks really professional. So I'd create some of those images inside of Canva and then upload here. And then the more that you fill out this description, the higher chances you are of going to be making a sale. People will go to the extreme of, of creating a digital product. They'll upload it. They'll add one photo, a one line description, and then hope it's going to sell. They're failing at the last hurdle. You need to kind of make sure that this listing is standing out because people are going to read it and that's what's going to lead to high conversion. So loads of pictures, loads of descriptions, add a video in if you can, just showing you how to use the, the product if you can show it on an iPad, we're really professional looking. And then one really important thing here is the title. So we want to make sure that there's keywords in this title because that's how people are going to find you. They're going to come over to Etsy and they're going to type it in. You can run adverts if you want, but you don't have to run adverts. You still can rank if you go for keywords, which people are searching for where there's not much competition. So to help you find the best keywords that you can put in your title, I still use this tool here called Sales Samurai. Again, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. And it's got the Chrome extension, but it's also got this tool here where we can go inside it, inside a dashboard, and we can search for keywords. I just search chronic illness tracker in here, and it brings up all the associated keywords, and it shows us the search volume and kind of what we could add into our listing to help us rank. And it shows you the click-through rate and, and all this kind of stuff. So chronic illness tracker, Tracker will obviously be a good keyword to add into our title, but if you look down here, chronic illnesses gets more search volume and a much higher click-through rate. So it could be chronic illnesses tracker that you want to add in here. And it also got information here about the top tags, which the best selling listings have got in their listings. So chronic illnesses is a really good tag to use, but symptom tracker, pain tracker, medical planner, these all associated keywords and tags that you can add into your listing, which will help you rank. And there's loads more information here, which you can add into your listing to kind of help it stand out. And then the next really important thing is the description. So you want to put a long description in here that's kind of like personalized. It sounds a bit chatty. So a really good way of doing this, what I've been doing is actually using ChatGPT to create me my descriptions. So you come over to ChatGPT and so you can just say something like this, write me a chatty style Etsy description for a chronic illness symptom tracker digital download, bam, and then get it to write you one and then we've got this really cool and it will have lots of keywords in there you can actually ask it to include keywords as well if you wanted it to and then that's that done and then what you need to make sure you do here is click on digital for the product here and this will allow you to upload the digital product and then down here you can add in your tags and you can just take them all from the sales samurai tool next up is pricing so the great thing about digital products is that you don't have to pay for any shipping it doesn't cost you any money to create the product and once you've actually created it it just generates passive income so you can set this price whatever you want you can set it for one dollar you can set it for ten dollars set it for twenty dollars if you like obviously look what other people are selling them for but one thing that i think is really 
really important. Don't undercut yourself. If you've created these basic sheets, yeah, you can do them for fairly cheap. But if you create a really good product, a good digital product, like a really 50 page, 100 page planner, don't be selling it for really, really cheap because that just makes it look low quality and you're undercutting yourself. And you see them on here, they're selling for $20, $30. People are prepared to buy them. So I would definitely have a higher price of what your product's worth and it increases the perceived value and you make sure you get paid for it. But again, you can just play around with this, but I'm just going to set this for around about five pounds because that's kind of okay for a basic sheet or a pack of sheets. And then we scroll down here and this is where you upload your file. So you just upload your digital file like that PDF and it's there. It's great. There's no refunds for digital files. So you don't need to worry about that. And then you click publish and your listing is live. Now, don't expect to start making loads of money straight away. So with this, it's more of a numbers game. We need to upload lots of different products. So I'd spend a lot of time uploading different things. Some of them might take off. Some of them might not take off. And it's just a bit of a, a game where you just put in a load of them out and they don't take that long to create. And then you'll see a few of them start to sell really well and you can kind of double down on the niches that are working really really well but this is a great passive income strategy and if you want another really good way of making passive income that doesn't involve creating any digital products yourself then check out this video here which is all about selling ai generated art thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe cheers